Hello and welcome to XSU TV. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I would like to ask you a question. What if you've actually already met your targets? What? No, I've got all these things that I'm supposed to have done and I'm supposed to be and I'm supposed to do. What I'd like you to look at is have a look. When you set that target, it may have been when you were two, it may have been when you were 500 and two, whatever it was, whenever it was, have a look at the energy of what that meant to you then. Now, what I mean by that is sometimes when we set targets, we targets are actually that, it, they're a moving thing, they are, are malleable, changeable, all of that sort of thing. But when you set a target, there's an energy attached to it. And when, that, when you achieve that energy and don't acknowledge it, you have to destroy it so you can recreate it. So you can destroy it and recreate, destroy, recreate, until finally you acknowledge it and you can move forward. Okay, so when you have a look at when you set that target, like maybe you were 10 and you said, one day I'm going to be rich. Now, we've all said it at some stage in our lives and one one of the things I noticed when I actually looked at what was I looking to create when I decided I would be rich was actually being able to open my wallet and have a hundred dollars sitting there. Like to me that was rich. I had some money in the bank but having a hundred dollars in your wallet was this like whoa! Now of course we're going back a good 30 years 30 years ago, $100 meant a lot more. And to me, at age 10, that's what being rich meant. That I had $100 in my wallet. Now, there has been multiple times, woohoo, twoies, um, <laughs> um, there's been multiple times in my life that I've had $100 in my wallet. And even there's been multiple times in my life when I've had $100 in my wallet and it's not been pre-allocated, like I hadn't just been to the FPOS machine to go and buy something specifically with that money, it was just sitting there in my wallet. Now, have I ever acknowledged that in that moment, my wallet matched the energy of what I had defined as being rich when I was 10? And in that 10 seconds, I was rich, according to my 10 year old self. But I'm still being saying, I'm not rich, I don't have enough money, blah, 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 blah. Now, $100 ain't going to buy me anywhere near what 30 years ago it was able to buy me. And yet, do you get that space of the energy? The energy that you be when you ask the question, God, what would it take for me to be rich? And there's an energy. When you meet that energy, when you achieve that target, acknowledge it. Go, huh, that's really funny. 30 years ago, I asked to have $100 in my wallet. I have $100 in my wallet, woohoo, I'm rich. And now what can I create? What can I create even greater? What would, what's rich mean to me now? What would I like to ask for now? Rather than constantly having to not have the hundred dollars so that you can get the hundred dollars back. See then not <laughs> so my suggestion to you today anywhere you seem to be not achieving a target, have a look at the energy that you be, the energy that showed up when you asked that question the first time. What would it take for me to have a have a loving partner? What was that? What did that mean to you in, in that 10 seconds? And has that ever shown up in your life? Oh yeah. When I was with that guy 10 years ago, we were only together for two weeks, but he matched that energy. Huh, I've had that part, loving partner. Now, what would it take for me to have a loving partner in my life for a longer period of time? Or whatever that question is, but when you acknowledge that it, you've achieved it at some stage since originally asking for it, you can then 
move forward. You can then create greater and you don't have to keep destroying what you've created to recreate it, to hopefully acknowledge it at that point. <laughs> so have fun playing with that and I look forward to sharing more tips, tools and possibilities on this channel in the future and what else is possible. So go ahead, click subscribe and um, I'll be in your inbox almost daily. Have fun and thanks for joining me here at Access UTV.